Ipinanganak siya dito sa Pilipinas, lumaki siya sa bansang China, nag-aral sa Amerika. Pero sa puso, sa isip at sa gawa, Pinoy na Pinoy siya. Ang utak sa likod ng pinakamatagumpay na accounting firm dito sa Pilipinas, ang Sisip, Gores, and Belayo. SGV. Halina na po kayo. Samahan ninyo ko. Pasukin natin ang tahanan at opisina ni ginoong Washington Sisip dito sa Powerhouse. siya ng Philippine Public School System noong panahon na ikalawang digmaan pandaigdig o World War II. Si Washington Sisip o mas kilala bilang si Wash ay isang Filipino-Chinese businessman na ipinanganak noong 1921. Nakapagtapos ng Bachelor of Science in Commerce sa Columbia School sa Amerika. Ngunit higit na piniling bumalik ng Pilipinas at dito gamitin ang kanyang husay at kalino. You lead by example. Yan ang paniniwala ni Washington. Kaya naman, kahit retirado na, maaga pa rin daw siyang pumupunta sa kanyang opisina sa Makati. Well, welcome to SUV. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Sa pungad pa lamang, napaka-ingrande na ng opisina ni Washington Sisip. Mr. Sisip, can I talk to you now and have conversation with you that is so different from your daily grind here in the office? Isang icon na sa larangan ng pagnanegosyo, si Washington Sisip. Sa edad niyang mahigit walumpo, ay tila wala pa sa isip niya ang tumigil sa pagtatrabaho. Yes, and here you are at what age? At... I will be 90 this June. Why do you still work? Oh, you don't need to work. Well, I do need to work because I've no, I've no income from SGB. I retired and I wanted to set an example. So the young people that are entering the firm every year, yes. that they own the firm. Okay. So I don't get anything from SGB. However, on the day when they announced that I was retiring, I got so many calls from many of the companies that I help out, <laughs> yeah. saying, now you can come to our board. All right. So I am on many boards. Sa kwartong ito, sinisimula ni Washington ang kanyang araw sa opisina. Kapansin-pansin ang mga litrato ng mga sikat na world leaders na kanyang nakasama tulad nila Ronald Reagan, Lee Kuan Yew at Bill Clinton. Pero ang higit na kamangha-mangha ay ang dami ng kanyang koleksyong kwago. At pago. You know, you have a whole collection of owls. A lot of it is, uh, let's say, turtles because of long life, they give it to me. Uh -huh. I had an ivory owl. An elephant here? It is what does given this mean to me you? by somebody who thought that my memories are long. Yes. An elephant has a long memory. Yeah, you know? that's right. Yeah. Oh, ha. Ang bahay ng mga sisip sa Makati, ang isa sa kauna-unang bahay sa North Forbes Park. May lawak itong 4,000 square meters. Malaparke sa laki na napapaligiran ng mga puno at halaman. I want to welcome all of you to my home. When you see the house, it may be quite a large house, but just remember that this house was built almost 50 years ago. 325 pesos lamang ang ginastos noon ni Washington sa pagpapagawa ng kanyang mansyon. 
Binili niya ang lupang ito noon sa halagang 40 pesos per square meter mula sa pamilya Zobel. Pagbukas pa lamang ng pintuan ng kanyang mansyon, bubulaga na agad ang maaliwalas na kapaligiran. pansin sa buong living room ay ang kakaibang sculpture na tinatawag niyang Tree of Life. Out there you see a tree that's moving and this was, uh, I think many of you may know Maang who is head of the ballet theater and she was raising money for the ballet theater so she asked me to please buy the tree. It's uh, designed by a Filip young Filipino engineer. So it's, I call it the tree of life because it's always moving. So whether our, whatever our situation in the Philippines is good and bad, I'm always optimistic. And I turn on the tree and the, it's moving. So I say, we have a lot of future. No? Para kay Washington Sisip, Edukasyon raw ang susi ng bawat bansa upang maging maunlad. With your immeasurable wisdom you know, and your long years of experience in so many fields, why is the Philippines still poor? Because of the political structure. If you analyze the reasons for poverty, if a person is illiterate, 99.9% mm -hmm. sure that you are going to be poor. So the first and the most important thing is how to attack basic education. So the dropout rates, which are now too high, nationwide, the dropout rates are 25% of the students that start grade one do not finish grade six. But how we have to increase tax collection. But the businessmen are not going to like that. Well, <laughs> they better pay up or else. I've warned many, many people, mm -hmm. including a lovely doctors mm -hmm. that are not issuing receipts, mm -hmm. including many of the stores that are not issuing receipts, mm -hmm. that they should now comply with the rules and regulations here. Mm -hmm. We have an honest president. Mm -hmm. Help him raise the country up. Puro bilog na mesa ang makikita sa iba't ibang seating area sa kanyang tahanan. Personal choice daw ito ni Wash dahil paniniwala niya na sa bilog na mesa, pantay-pantay ang lahat. Napapalamutian din ang kanyang bahay ng iba't ibang paintings. Maniniwala ba kayo na ang manansala painting na ito ay nabili lamang noon ni Wash sa halagang 600 pesos? Whatever paintings I have here, I've bought them or acquired them not because of who the painter is, but because I enjoy looking at that painting. Ang dalawang palapag na bahay ni Washington ay may pangkaraniwan na 1960s architecture. Paminsan-minsan ay kinakailangan itong papinturahan, ngunit hindi na kailanman binago pa ang disenyo at istruktura ng bahay. Meron siyang dalawang hardinero, guard, isang driver, at pitong kasambahay at dalawa dito ay mahigit ng limampung taong nanilibihan sa kanila. 27,000 pesos ang sahod ng pinakamatagal na kasambahay ni Wash. Isang matagumpay na tulad ni Washington Sisi ay hindi rin pinalampas ang pagsubok sa buhay. I understand that uh, you are taking care of a wife, your wife, who has Alzheimer's disease. That's right. Is this difficult? How do you manage? How no, do you in the Philippines, it? it's good. You can get a caretaker. So she's with my wife throughout the, every day, every night. So it's something that I brought her in the early stages to the best medical doctors, but as you know, up to now, they don't have a cure. So we're lucky that I'm here in the Philippines where you can find people who would be so good to her. Well, the children are all grown up. 
I was shocked to learn from my daughter that she'll be retiring, I think, this year or next year. Why does that shock you? No, because I've always treated her as a little girl. Yes. And one day she told me that she's going to be retiring. I said, you retiring? Uh-huh. Whoa. Uh-huh. The time goes on. Isa sa mga paboritong lugar ni Wash sa kanilang tahanan ay ang kwarto kung saan nakalagay ang mga litrato ng kanyang tatlong anak na sina Victoria, George at Robert. If I have a chance to be with the family, then we may have a meal here. Right now, it's very seldom used because of the fact that different members of my family are in different parts. Right? But all the pictures here and everything are really just family. And uh, some of the paintings was done by my wife in her earlier days. She painted these three children with her there. This is uh, David Rockefeller, Suharto, Lee Kuan Yew. This is the former Secretary of State, a good friend of uh, Cody, very good friend, George Schultz. This is uh, Colin Power. And this was a birthday that I had recently where I was able to get the major business groups here. The head of Ayala was here, Go Conway Group. Uh, this is the, the group Inquirer. This is Lucio Tan, Henry C., Oscar Lopez. So uh, these are the top business groups. Kung may may pagmamalaki si Wash, ito ay ang kanyang karanganan na makadaupang palan at makilala ang labing apat sa labing lima na naging Pangulo ng ating bansa. I had a good friend who was a, working with Sandegar many years ago, and he was a wood carver. So I would give him pictures of the leaders of the world, and he would carve the person. So I have it all the leaders of the world at that time here. Could you uh, describe to us the presidents you worked with in a few words? How was GLA? I worked with her up to the time when the higher ten resigned. After that, no more. Arab, we worked with him on the advisory council, not only myself, but this the other members were respectable people. We resigned when the wedding scandal came out mm -hmm. to show that we are independent. But there, of course, is a very kind person. He knew the problem of the masses. Tatalunin ng tahanan ni Washington Sisip ang isang museo sa dami ng mga works of art na makikita dito. I have a very close friend, Impi Pilapir. She is, I consider, a national treasure. And one time when she talked about migrating abroad, I say I'll squeeze her neck if she migrates abroad. Tinitingala siya sa mundo ng accountancy at consultancy. Ang utak sa likod ng pinakamatagin pie na accounting firm dito sa Pilipinas, ang Sisip, Gores, and Velayo. What is your philosophy in being a man? In my case, it's, I always feel that uh, it's good fortune and bad fortune that I see many problems in the Philippines. If you live here and you, the tr country has treated you so well that I have great confidence in the people here but I'm very sad that we cannot get rid of poverty. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I try my best to see what is necessary mm -hmm. to get the country to reduce poverty. What is the biggest challenge for you as a professional? Right now, I feel that uh, the key is how to get the Philippines or contribute a bit towards getting the Philippines back to where it was. Mm -hmm. At one time, it was mm -hmm. one of the leaders in the country. And now, unfortunately, by all measurements, we are way at the bottom. We have good people. I have absolute confidence 
in our people. But again, you can see the Filipino, when properly managed and trained, can compete anywhere. I'm not worried about that. No. Pero ang kanyang kumpanya na pinatatag ng panahon ay hindi rin nakaligtas sa mga intriga at kontrobersya. SGV is always in many, many affairs, many, many events, you know, as uh, fabulators of this and that and all of that. When there was a, a controversy in the Manila Film Festival. We pointed, at that time, the mayor of Manila was also Mayor Lim, the same mayor yes. we have now. Yes. He was there. Mm -mm. He suspended the actress mm -mm. movies in Manila for six months. Uh -huh. Mayor Lim is a good man, regardless of her popularity and so on. <laughs> no, but did you think that was a controversy for SGV? Because SGV was the populator then. Oh no, we no. did what was right. We found that there was cheating yes. and we reported it immediately. Right. And Mayor Lim took action immediately. yourself a bookkeeper well that's what I am no? mm. I try to keep the book straight mm. Mm. tunay na makulay ang buhay na ginoong Washington City at kung may aral man daw siyang nais ibahagi sa lahat ito ay ang kahalagahan ng edukasyon anything on education especially education I don't want to set up a scholarship at the UP medical school mm -hmm as some of the UP graduates in America asked me to do. Mm -hmm. I said, I will set that up if you can guarantee me that that person going to medical school will not migrate abroad. Mm, yeah. Why should I yeah. help out some... F America does not need my help. What we're saying here, Wash, is uh, for our people, the Filipinos, the parents, to put much importance, much value to the education of their children. Yeah, because if the parents are illiterate, that is the worry. Yes. No? Then they don't care if the children yes. do not go to school. Yes. Wash, we'd like to thank you very much for, for this time. I know your time is very, very precious. I enjoyed talking with you. Not only enjoyed it, but I learned very, very much. I really think you look 55 too. <laughs> not 65. <laughs> I said 45. Oh, 45. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs>